Kolo Yahu Bashim Yahu Shai 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 All praise and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahu Shai Bashim Rakakwadash <clears throat> Shalom Lebakarium Shor Yasharala Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and Shalom to the whole elect out there and the elect lady. And what I'm doing right now is a quick, you know, epistle. It's going to be a quick epistle, nothing real long for the newcomers that want to partake in the Passover. And um, this is a solemn assembly. As our elders and apostles have told us over and over throughout the years, you know, if you're not worthy of celebrating and partaking in this ceremonial, don't do it. And I'm going to get two scriptures because this is not, you know, like the apostle Tahar said years ago, this is not a lamb dinner, you know, this is a, a, a very serious, solemn ceremony that we partake in because it's a, it's a time when Yahabah Shem Shai personally, you know, is purging our, our dross, the, the leaven, you know, the iniquities make us stronger, rebuking these spirits. And it's, and it's, and it's a sign of Yahweh Shai ultimately being that ultimate sacrifice for us, the lamb. What John the Baptist said, uh, 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 this is the, uh, when he saw Yahweh Shai, he said the lamb that had taken the, the sin of the world, Israel, man. I'm just paraphrasing. And this is just one-on-one, -on -one, basic one-on-one. -on -one. Last year, I did, an, I, I, did a, I did something similar right to the point. I'm going to do it. And I'm going to just get right to the point. You know, you eat this. Again, this is not a lamb dinner. You 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 have to eat this in haste. You get your lamb chops. All right? You got your lamb chops. You know? And it's this it's that simple. You get your bitter herbs. You get you some horseradish. All right? All right? Gluten-free, whatever. Get you some pure horseradish. All right, and then you got your wine. You got your corn tortillas. You know, throughout the whole week, we're gonna be celebrating the uh, feast of unleavened bread. You remove all the leaven out your house, the cereal, the waffles. You know, the cornstarch, bacon sodas, all that stuff, cookies. You know. And you just remove it from one, you could, you could put it in the trunk of your car, or you could put it in another room. But importantly, this is not a lamb dinner. We're rehearsing the righteous ass for Yahbashim Yahshua will have mercy on us. And you eat corn tortillas, the whole week, no bread, no leaven. All right? Tomorrow we're going to partake of sundown. It's the Sabbath. You know, this is nothing about being over-righteous, brothers. You have to be worthy to take this. If you're not ready, you don't know what's the what's the meaning of the Passover. I advise you not to partake in it. If you don't know what it means. Because even today you have groups, you got Israelite camps that been in the truth, so-called leaders in Israel today that been in the truth so many years and they still don't understand how serious and meaningful is the Passover. They just going off. This is simple. You can keep it at your home with yourself and your family. You know, that's it. It's simple. You pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. You meditate the whole week. Tomorrow Passover. This is a rehearsal act to Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, brothers. I'm going to just jump around a little bit here. Exodus 12. And it reads... Um, and, and, and the Lord Yahweh spoke unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month 
shall be unto you the beginning of months. It should be the first month of the year to you. Speak ye unto the con congregation of Israel in the 10th day of the month. They shall take every man a lamb, right? According to the house of their fathers, a lamb for a house and for the household. And it goes into if they can't afford it. You know, you're supposed to help the brothers out. I'm going to just go right to certain key points. And they should take of the blood and strike it on the two sides. Pose. We know the Passover that occurred in Egypt. The Lord brought judgment. So we know the Lord is going to bring judgment upon the house of Israel. You know, every Passover, there's, there's judgment coming, man. We've got a lot of wicked Israelites out here that don't even know about the solemn assembly. All right, verse 9. Eat now of a raw, nor sodden, out of the water, but roast with fire. You roast it. You put it in the oven. You put your horseradish, and that's it. You're not going to put no adobo, no sazon, none of that. This is simple. Remember. And they should eat the flesh in the night, roast with fire and unleavened bread, corn tortillas, and with bitter herbs, they should eat it, your horseradish, all right? Verse 11, and thus shall you eat it with your loins girded, your shoes on your feet and your staff in your hand, and you should eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. It is the Lord's Passover. So it's not about having a good time. You got a lot of Israelite groups going off. Music, decorations, having a good time. Inviting people that are not even worthy to, to partake on the Passover. And, and during this time... Our, our people, the Israelites, our forefathers, they wasn't in a, in a in a spirit of mirth. They were they were afraid of, of Pharaoh. They had to get out of there. That's why the Lord said, make sure you got your shoes on, your, your garments on, eat it in haste, and be out. So this is just a, 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 a rehearsal act that we partake in. It's real simple. Tomorrow you roast it. You put your bitter herbs, you eat your corn to tea, you drink your wine, it represents the blood of Yahweh Shai. And, 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 and that's it. You meditate, you pray, you know. First Corinthians 11. All right. First Corinthians and 11. Let me go, let me start at verse 24. And when he had given thanks, he breaked it and said, take, eat this, my body, which is broken for you, this do in, rem in remembrance of me. See, I wish I speaking. After the same manner also, he took the cup when he had supped, saying this cup, is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. Yahweh Shai. For as often we know Yahweh Shai is the ultimate sacrifice. But we're rehearsing the holy days as a faith, as 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 a faith booster, you know, and, and for us to 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 walk. In the past, the scripture speaks about seek the old past. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. And that's what we're waiting for, for the return of Yahweh Shai. This is why we practice holy days, the Passover, as a remembrance of Yahweh Shai. And, 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 and to, and to uh, acknowledge the feast day. Wherefore, whosoever should eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself and say, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily 
eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. So this is a serious solemn assembly. This is a time when you give your life and your spirit to the Lord and you tell him, Salakia, forgive me, this make me stronger. This is a faith rehearsal. But it's simple. All you need is your corn tortillas for the whole week. We do the whole week for the whole Saturday going on to Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, we're the whole week on leavened bread. So Saturday is the Passover. All you need is your lamb. You roast it in the oven. That's all you need. Horseradish. You drink your wine. You make your you, you you read some precepts. You you read. Bless the man that readeth. You go into the, the Passover. You read scriptures. You meditate. You get on your knees and 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 you give in the Passover to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. That is it. That's that's it. And pray that the Lord have mercy on us. And this is for the new brothers and sisters that think if you feel that you're ready and you understand what is the Passover, you understand the meaning behind it, then go right ahead in spirit and faith. But if you're not ready, don't do it. You heard the scriptures. Don't be unworthy. Call Allah Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All praise and glory and honor to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakakudash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well. Shalom to the whole elect out there and the elect ladies. Shalom.